Hello, human. Thank you for being on the channel. Kevin Bacon's character, Sebastian, and his brilliant team of scientists are working on a special serum for the military that can make someone invisible. At the beginning of the film, we see that they are testing it on animals. They're able to make the animals go invisible and then bring the animals back to where they can be visible again. But it's a very difficult process, and Sebastian's team are not really comfortable yet with testing it on a human subject, Sebastian, being the smartest one on the team and the one with the biggest balls, he opts to go, hey, I'm going to go first. I'm going to be the first human test subject. And they actually succeed. You know, Sebastian uh, becomes invisible, the hollow man, if you will. But there is a problem. His team has a difficult time making him visible again, and they want him to stay in the confines of the facility because, you know, if he leaves, it'll be really hard to track him because you can't see him. Granted, they have these special goggles where you can see him, but it's still a difficult process to track him down versus just leaving him in the facility. But naturally, when humans are confined to a certain area for too long, they start to get antsy, they start to get mad and stuff like that. Now, Elizabeth Shue's character, uh, Linda, used to be with Sebastian, but... She actually left him because she wasn't getting what she needed emotionally. Like, you know how humans are. If they don't get the love and all the other bullshit that they care about, they feel like they need to move on and find it elsewhere. Thus enter Josh Brolin's character, Matthew. So Elizabeth Shue's character, Linda, decided to replace Sebastian with Matthew. And that's right, Josh Brolin, the guy who played uh, Thanos and Cable. So yeah, over the course of the film, you get to watch uh, the Sebastian character just snap. He's just like, man, fuck these humans. I need to get up out of here right now. And plus, I'm invisible. I can do whatever the hell I want. No one's going to be able to see me anyway. And you get to see what happens there with the bodies piling up and him doing whatever he wants to do. And I'll tell you what, if I had the ability to, to become invisible or you know, somebody turns me invisible and I'm just more or less stuck like that till somebody can figure out uh, what to do, the right uh, sequence to get me back to being visible. I'll tell you what, I'd be doing all kinds of crazy ass shit. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot smelly ass day and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm going to go ahead and give this movie, I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10. You know, this movie is okay to me. I feel like you have a lot of talented actors and actresses in the movie. The premise is simple enough. I think it's executed fine, but you could have had something more grand with this type of plot. But I felt like they did just enough to make the movie passable, but it's not really all that special when you compare it to other premises that have done the whole um, Invisible Man type thing. So, um, cool film. You know, I found it to be entertaining, especially when the Sebastian character started to fall down the rabbit hole. Like, they go, let me up out this fucking facility. I am Sebastian. I am the smartest motherfucker here. And you're going to show me some respect. So, yeah, uh, interesting film. Thank you for being here, human. And until next time, Terrence out.